Hey guys, now our next topic is band break. So, what is a brand band break? A band break is a mechanism in which the outer drum is holded by a steel band with, and with the help of a lever it is stopped with the application of the forces at one end so here we will derive the forces required in order to stop the brain band break the drum with the help of a band break now let us draw the diagram for that basic diagram where it is the drum which will rotate and here it is the contact area angular contact of the steel belt with the drum here the force ap applied on lever applied on lever here it is a length a b here tension in the spring t1 t2 here this is the pivot point o and this also let it be let it as radius of the drum r now let us write the various parameters such as t1 and t2 as tension in tight and slack band respectively theta angular contact of band with drum mu coefficient of friction between the band and the drum so when when the application when there is a force applied on the lever this there induces a tension in the t1 and t2 in the both bands when there induces a tension this get tightens upon the drum and the drum starts to slow down and completely stops with respect to the point o force is applied now there are basically two conditions there are basically two conditions which must be satisfied the first one is when force is applied downwards here a should be greater than b in order to stop the drum and when force is applied upward a should be less than b in order to stop the drum so now let us see the various conditions first and second and also the breaking torque breaking torque would be 
टेंशन इन वन माइनस टेंशन इन टू इन टू द रेडियस आर दैट इज टी वन बाई टी टू इक्वल्स टू ई रिज टू म्यू थीटा नाउ द टू कंडीशन आर द फर्स्ट वन इज वेन द फोर्स इज अप्लाइड अपवर्ड फोर्स अप्लाइड अपवर्ड दैट इज ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी नाउ इन दैट वेन ड्रम रोटेट काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज डिरेक्शन that is you can see the drum rotates in counter clockwise direction writing the equilibrium condition conditions that is summation of moment of force at pivot point o equals to 0 now f into the distance is sorry i forgot to mention it f into l and a and b respectively now f force f into l माइनस टी वन इंटू ए प्लस टी टू इंटू बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो और फाइंडिंग फॉर एफ वी गेट एफ इक्वल्स टू टेकिंग एल डाउनवर्ड्स एंड बोथ द टर्म्स ऑन द राइट वी गेट टी वन ए माइनस टी टू बी by l now for the second conditions when drum rotate in clockwise direction in this case the tight and slack side get reverse that is the tight and slack side get reverse that is now t2 is greater than t1 and also we know that a is greater than b like then we can come up to point that t1 a is greater than t2 b that is taking downward t1 by t2 is greater than b by a now reversing that is T2 upon T1 is less. The sign will change. T2 upon T1 is less than upon A upon B. Now we can see that see that the force applied is nullified. that is zero or negative which means no external force is required to stop the drum that is you can come up to conclusion that in this case the brakes are self locking 
brakes. Since here no force, in this case no force is required to stop the brake, therefore it is called as a self-locking brake. The brakes will get automatically locked as soon as we change the length of these A and B. Conditions required for the forces applied in downward direction and now the forces required in upward direction that is force is acting upward here in this case we will again solve for the force <coughs> drum rotating counterclockwise direction and we will get the answer that is force equals to T2B minus T1A upon L and similarly we will see for the drum rotating counterclockwise sorry clockwise direction and again we will get the same series of information and the values so that the self locking brake so in that case that will be not self locking brake that will be self energizing brake so guys thank you so much for watching